let's create a waterfall chart in Power BI. Let's go ahead and do that by adding in this waterfall chart visualization. And I'm just going to expand this on the report view. Once I've done that, let's break this down. So in the waterfall chart, we have category breakdown, Y axis and tooltips. So the way we're going to do this is my category is going to be the region. And before we do the breakdown, let's do the Y axis. So my Y axis is going to be sales. So this will give us basically a waterfall chart. And what it is, is from the left to the right, we have our regions, which is our categories. And then we, if we hover into this, we can see that the South region had $6,000. $6,000 in sales. This region only had $7,000 in sales and so on and so forth. And then this big blue bar right here is the total for the entire region. So you can see here how it just basically took each region, sum of sales, added it all up to give us a large bar right here. Now let's add some more values in here. So we can break this down into several different categories we can break it down by product product category and we can break it down by states or city let's go ahead and pick state so i'm just going to add in state and this will break down and give you a different look at a waterfall chart so now the waterfall chart has the total sum of sales for south midwest west and northeast in blue and then it breaks down the state here the next thing we can do is we go into format and we can format the y-axis the legend and things of that nature and we can also change our columns so if we don't want this to be green or pink or yellow gold or blue we can change those colors like that so that's how that will look we can also change the maximum breakdown so we can say five or we can add more so it'll give us more of a uh, waterfall effect here like that so now you can kind of see more of that waterfall effect and what it looks like other things you can do you can add some detail labels on here so if you turn those on now you can see uh, some of those detail labels and you'll see more of the breakdown and with that you should know how to build a waterfall chart in power bi